All right, it's your morning rush. Now everything you need to know before you head out the door. And a construction project could mean some delays along a Midlands freeway. The South Carolina Department of Transportation announced work for widening 26. It's going to begin next spring. Construction is scheduled at night to minimize traffic. Officials say construction will take place on a 16 mile stretch from exit 101 near Columbia to exit 85 in Newberry County. Several exits will also be improved along with bridges being replaced over the interstate. The highway will be widened to four lanes in each direction for the first four miles outside Columbia and three lanes each way for the rest of the segment. Now the project should be completed within four years. Just a short four years, Brandon, yeah, yeah. and it'll be done. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it is Rail Safety Week here in the Midlands, and several members of law enforcement are taking steps to keep our railroad crossings safe. It's called Operation Clear Track, and it's a safety initiative hosted by Amtrak and Operation Lifesaver to bring local police and sheriff's departments together to enforce trespassing laws. And this morning, an education event will be held in 48 states nationwide that have a high number of incidents or near misses. And yesterday, the Irmo Police Department posted some safety tips for families. First, never walk or drive around a lowered crossing gate or outrun an approaching train. Remember, a train can take a mile or more to stop and never walk, run, play, or even take pictures or selfies on the railroad tracks. You can find more safety tips at WLTX.com. And in Orangeburg, deputies have arrested a man in connection with a shooting last Friday at South Carolina State University that injured two women. He's 22-year-old Joshua Collier, and he's currently being held at the Orangeburg County Jail. Authorities, though, are searching for a second suspect that they say is connected to the shooting. So if you have information on where that other suspect is, please call Crime Stoppers 1-888-CRIME-SC, and you can stay anonymous. Well, over the past month, viewers who get the WLTX signal over the air for free or using an antenna, they've been seeing messages about an upcoming date when they'll have to rescan their channels, and that date is now for tomorrow, September 25th. Tomorrow, WLTX will activate our new transmitter and new antenna, which means over the air viewers will need to rescan their TV sets in order to continue to receive the WLTX signal. Now, no new devices, equipment, or services are needed to rescan, but you will need to go into the settings on your TV set and rescan those channels. Now, we're making the change very early tomorrow morning, so when you get up, make rescanning your channels one of the first things you do. Again, this is only for our viewers who watch us for free by using an antenna. We want to make this change as easy as possible for you. You can also head over to WLTX.com or on the News 19 mobile app for more information about this exciting change.